They go about their day and lives helping make sure children are safe and sound and get a chance to grow and thrive. Yeah, they are the child advocates and every year the Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy honors these community heroes and their annual Heroes Ball. The ball is virtual, but still a big night, uh, complete with food delivered to your doorstep. Yeah, now among those being honored, our good friend to Living Oklahoma, Attorney Noble McIntyre, who is always ready to help a noble cause. We appreciate all that you do for our community. Thank you. Uh, we brought in some 4-H club members to help us say thank you. Uh, Noble, since we began a Noble Cause, you've donated nearly $10,000 to 4-H members and all their Noble Causes. So we uh, wanted to surprise you that turkey was, we, we're happy just you, to talk was, about the yeah. turkey yeah. stuff, but this is cool. So you guys go ahead and take Where, where did you hide everybody? I walked through the studio, we didn't see anybody. I've seen all of you before. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. We'd like to thank Thank you. Speaking of kindness, you have done a lot for 4 Hers and youth just across the state in supporting their service projects. So Oklahoma 4-H would like to thank you. We have a little something for you today. Thank you. Do you want me to open it right now? Or what do we, what do, is there like a box of money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, you can check it out. Let's, let's see. I'm just going to throw stuff on the floor here. Let's see yeah. what we have. We have, oh, look at this. All right, oh. we have, you know, we have 4-H colors in it, green tie. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And let's see what else we have here. All right. Look, oh, look got the 4-H collar. Perfect. Oh, nice. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. You know, I don't do this to get back. I really don't. I do this to honor you guys. And as you guys all know, because you've talked to me before, I was in 4-H. It's where I learned to do my public speaking, and now I get paid very well to speak. So you guys, I expect it all out of you, too. <laughs> but thank you very much. Guys, the turkey is going to be given out to any and everyone who needs it from them and their family this year. About 10 years ago, I was walking through my church foyer, and there was a pamphlet that had everything a family of four would need for Thanksgiving. It was like 40 bucks. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm not going hungry. My friends aren't going hungry, but there's a lot of folks that are. So that year started out with just me and my office trying to do something for the community. I get more out of it than the people I'm giving to. I mean, it makes me feel good to know that on Thanksgiving Day, there's some families sitting down to eat because of some stuff that I've done and some of my fellow trial lawyers have done. It's given me a good feeling. Now that's just a little snippet of the impact that Noble McIntyre has made on the community. Joining us now is Joe Dorman with the Oklahoma Institute of Child Advocacy with our good friend, Attorney Noble McIntyre. Everyone else will get their award tonight, but Joe, we decided to honor Noble here live on Living Oklahoma. Take it away, Joe. Good morning. I'm going to put this in my pocket for a minute. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy is having our annual Heroes Ball, and it's going to be tonight at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, but it's a little bit different. We're doing a virtual event where people will be able to tune in on Zoom and watch the award ceremony, and we're doing Postmates delivery of the food. Postmates says we're the first organization in the nation to partner with them. We're missing out a little bit because we're not going to have the award winners with us tonight, but because one of them is so closely tied to Fox 20. We wanted to do this special presentation this morning, so it's my pleasure to present the Individual Child Advocate of the Year Award for 2020 to Noble McIntyre. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you. I mean, don't you wish we could go back to the day where everybody was shaking hands and, and the no mask thing? We're going to get back to that. Look, I, I told these guys before we came on the air, I, I don't deserve this award. There's a thousand people that have done more than me. The one thing I've tried to do is just look in our community. You know, I grew up in Burns Flat, Oklahoma, which is a small town, and I was taught at an early age that if you're given something, you have to give back. And you and I go back all the way to the late 70s and 1980s and 4-H. You and my sister, Kirsten McIntyre. So we have a long history together. And you've been been doing the same thing. So, I mean, you've been doing way more than me. Uh, you've accomplished way more than me in this thing, and the organization you got is fantastic. So, all I can say is thank you for this, and it just gives me one more platform, because every time I get something like this, there's a place in my office where I put these awards, and people invariably will come in and they'll ask about them. And it gives me an opportunity to talk about your, your organization, and to encourage people that maybe aren't stepping up doing some of the things that we should be able to do. I mean, there's a lot of hunger in this world. There's a lot of pain in this world, and right now, with COVID 
COVID, where people are at home, there's a lot of kids struggling with some mental health issues because times are different. So it just gives me an opportunity to tell people, look, this organization is doing great things. I got an award I didn't really deserve, but it does give me an opportunity to say, look, step up, help this group out because they're helping a lot of people. So thank you for this. But my efforts are like this big. Your efforts are like this big. So thank you for everything that you and your organization are doing and helping the families. Well, we appreciate you, brother. And like Ben Parker, Spider-Man's uncle, says, <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. You've been using your power and your voice to make sure those kids are represented. Just with the video we just saw, it's people like you that are making a difference for the children of Oklahoma. And for those individuals who want to join us tonight, go to OICA.org. We still have tickets. Uh, we'd love for people to tune in, hear your speech tonight, see the other winners. We've got a fantastic slate of winners. We have auction items where people can make a donation. All of this goes to a great cause to ensure that we're training the advocates of Oklahoma to do better work for kids. And it is. If you haven't seen it, you need to. I was there live a couple years ago. Uh, bought at the auction the dinner with the governor. So that's how I met Governor Stitt. So, and he's, you know, I'm sure he's doing that again this year. So, yeah, tune in and watch. And look, if you've got some extra money, this is the time to step up and donate to this organization. They're doing a lot of great things. So thank you again. Thank you. Well, now, Noble, I think you're being humble there. You're such a great leader in the community, and the impact that you've made is, is bar none. So congrats, Noble, and thank you both for all that you do to help children and their families. And guys, the Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy is located at 2915 North Classen Boulevard, Suite 320 here in Oklahoma City. You can call them at 405-236-5437, extension 4. And if you want to check out the Heroes Ball tonight at 6 p.m., go to OICA.org on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search for Oklahoma Child Advocacy.